how do you as a lady properly discard your sanitary pad during menstruation right i've seen a couple of videos particularly this video is it just a nigerian thingy or it is a globally recognized recent hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Ada Adesunji and i'm the host of this channel feel free to hit on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so that you get the videos as soon as they are being uploaded and to my all-time favorite viewers my subscribers thank you so much guys. today's video is really an important one to every woman and to every human that has a woman in their lives i'm beginning to wrap is entering is making sense okay so i saw this video on the gram and i've heard it a couple of times from my daughter and i want us to have this conversation let's have an open mindset towards this conversation right it's really an important one so um i need us to know that there are early bloomers people who had started seeing their period flu from ages seven yes it's not rare my daughter is one of them and i also have two of my friends who had started from ages seven let's also put into consideration people who are in a new environment or a place where they're not so comfortable in the office in the supermarket in the bank let's also put into consideration the tourists the travelers you know you are not in the confines of your home right let's put into consideration people who go through period cramps and talk about this how do you properly discard your sanitary pads do you think this is right so let me tell you what is happening in this video right okay so this video is advising that you tear up the nylon from every sanitary pad right shred off the parts that looks like a toilet roll or cotton pad of whatever like it's um, easily disposed of it can melt easily in water and this is so that you don't block your drainages or your pipes with a pad right and flush off while i understand that particular you know rationale it's also speaking to you washing off the nylons that still contains a stain of the period blood wrapping it up neatly and then getting them burnt let me let me speak to the time being put into this how many people have this amount of time to do this outside their houses let me speak to the efforts put into this how many people, people have the strength and this kind of energy to do this let me speak to how long you need to do this is this a sustainable act like how consistent can you be to do this every month all the days of your life maybe till menopause guys it is not a workable thing for me and to be fair to the early bloomers how many children ages seven eight nine can comfortably do this without leaving a mess in the washrooms guys it can never be me so i'm not against it but i'm asking again is it just a nigerian thingy or a globally recognized standard is it a recent standard you guys should school me this way right? i think it's a rigorous effort if i'm being asked to be honest right I've made some inquiries um into this to find out what the rationale is particularly for nigeria where i reside right to know why people would want to go through these rigorous acts to get their sanitary parts trashed and in their defense the only thing that's coming to mind is the fact that the world has gone gaga a lot of immoralities people using sanitary pads to do juju ritualies causing infertility in women if there is also any other reason aside the aforementioned please someone should write in the comment section why i should pass through this to dispose a sanitary pad let's move on number two um, mentioned way to dispose a sanitary pad so i remember i had a teacher in my secondary school days who schooled us on how she usually will carry empty uh milo those days not be recently right um where whenever she's traveling she will carry an empty tin of maybe a milk or whatever and she puts them there packs them neatly when she comes home she burns them that was then i know um sometimes some of these airlines give me a limited 
luggage space. And then in that my limited luggage space, what should take 2 kg will now be sanitary pads. <laughs> Then I'll be carrying sanitary pads from Nigeria to Ghana, from Ghana to Lagos, from Lagos to Uganda to Paris to a traveler like me. You all should make it make sense. Someone should make it make sense to me. Whether I'm using a tin or I'm using a, a disposable nylon or whatever. How do I carry a long waist in my box all the way around the world? Of all things, I mean, then again, to be fair to people who do this, I need a rationale why you are doing this. So, if you're part of those people in this particular category, please drop in the comment section so that we also learn. So, like I said, let's learn together, right? Okay, so the number three category are people who burn it part of their trash right so neatly wrapped dropped in the trash can and then burnt to ashes so what my mom taught me growing up was it will be neatly wrapped so we usually we usually will have these disposable smaller um nylons right where you neatly wrap it in the same sanitary patch um wrap wrap it well wrapped in the nylon and then it is burnt then if after burning it is not properly burnt to ashes you dig and you bury it this was what my mom taught us those days so if you're also part of this category of individuals who dispose sanitary parts this way drop in the comment section i mean what other national rationale could be could it be rather than you getting it properly disposed so let me hear your thoughts okay so this last one would be for people you are a worker you are out of your house where you cannot dig or where you cannot burn you are a traveler you are somewhere not your house how would you dispose your sanitary pad if not properly tying it up and then trashing it somewhere right let me also hear your thoughts i mean we learn every day let's hear how you properly dispose your sanitary towels during your menstruation given all the elements i mentioned earlier right okay let's go